a safety alert now. The potential peril of a single spark is heating up in parts of Arkansas. Yeah, today 12 counties were upgraded to a high risk of wildfire danger. The remaining 63 counties in the state are under a moderate risk of wildfire danger. Neil Zarang is in Polk County at the edge of what's considered high risk with why it's been upgraded and what's likely next if we don't get some kind of relief. Neil. Yeah, Kevin, Donna, we've seen it already with the burn bans as they started in one county, now spread throughout most of the state. If we don't get some rain in northwest Arkansas, like some of central Arkansas saw, you're likely to see this high risk spread further into the state. The cracking yellow grass and the crunching brown leaves is not typical July weather in Pope County. It's like we didn't have spring. We went right into hot. Rose Bailey has lived in the area 50 years and finds it hard to remember such a strength sapping sauna. The Arkansas Forestry Division says sadly there's no end in sight. We are having a lot of wildfires up here right now that the surrounding districts aren't having yet. Jeffrey Frizzell made the recommendation to upgrade Pope County and the rest of District 6 from moderate to high risk. The 12 counties have fought over 20 wildfires in the past month, and the causes and difficulty to keep them from spreading qualifies as high risk. Hitting a rock right now on a spark can ignite a fire. Tall, dry grass in a hot vehicle can ignite a fire. Frizzell said the upgrade has not gone beyond Pope County because other areas have seen rain. Northwest Arkansas has not, but... Once the conditions are met in those areas, uh, I would expect, we can expect higher fire danger to be implemented there too. So officials ask people be mindful, something Bailey said she'd like to see more of on the interstate. People throwing out cigarettes and the grass is so dry it just takes off. These areas that are considered high risk are being sent additional firefighters so that they have some relief as they're fighting these constant grass and brush fires that they are getting and expect. There is one classification higher than high risk. That's extreme, but I'm told that's for truly explosive situations and nowhere in the state is there yet. Reporting live in Pope County, Niels Rang, back to you.